water reaches the xylem of a flowering plant in three ways: apoplastic, symplastic, and vacuola. It passes from the root hair cells through the parenchymal cells to the endodermis and caspian strip, and then the xylem. In the apoplastic process, water enters the mesh-like structure of the cell walls and continues until it reaches the endodermis. Then it encounters the water impermeable caspian strip. As a result, it is driven into the cytoplasm. This is the apoplastic block. It is now under control of the cells, whereas previously it was not. The symplastic process is through the cytoplasm. Water is absorbed into the root hair cells through their membranes by osmosis. It is passed through the plasmodesmata between parenchymal cells by osmosis. Remember, plasmodesmata are small holes in the cell walls between neighboring cells. And the water reaches the xylem. In the vacuola process, water is again absorbed by osmosis. However, it travels from vacuole to vacuole through the plasmodesmata. Once the endodermis is reached, though, the water travels through the cytoplasm or vacuole onto the xylem.